Hi everyone, I'm Amy with CraftPets.com and today I'm gonna to show you how to paint a reusable stick-on stencil with both spray paint and a brush. We're gonna make this adorable custom home state sign. These re-stick stencils are fantastic because they're self-adhesive, stick straight on the stenciling surface, and are reusable. This DIY project makes a great decor piece and can be customized to any state. First, let's start with the materials you'll need. A re-stick stencil, custom to your state shape, available on craftcuts.com. A wooden backer, I found this one at my local craft store. Some acrylic paint, spray paint, a foam brush, masking tape, a level, cardboard or paper, a ruler or tape measure, a paper plate, some paper towels, a squeegee or card, and a pencil. All right, let's get started. First, we're gonna do some measuring to make sure this stencil goes on nice and straight. I'm gonna find the center points on the stencil and my board, both length and height wise, by dividing the height and length in half and marking with a pencil. Using a pencil and a straight edge, I'm now going to draw a very light pencil line connecting these markings. These lines will be my guide and I will match them together as I apply the flexible stencil to the wood board. I wanna make note that the edge of the stencil is cut straight so you can use that to align and level if your board is larger than your stencil. This stencil is especially great for small to medium sized lettering projects. Now lay the stencil face down and crease back the waxy backing a little bit below the edge of the stencil. Turn it back over and apply the stencil to the surface ensuring our guidelines are perfectly matching. Carefully peel back the remaining backing while pressing the stencil down. Smooth the stencil onto the surface, paying special attention to the edges of letters to ensure a crisp edge while painting. Use a squeegee or a card to firmly press the stencil onto your board. What's great about this stencil is it sticks to the board, reducing paint bleeds. For the first part of the stencil, I'm gonna use spray paint for the H, M, and E in charcoal. Cover the stake cutout and any exposed area of the wood with cardboard or paper and spray paint in light, even strokes about eight inches from the sign. Allow to dry and repeat until you've built opaque layers of coverage. Once the paint is dry, remove the cardboard to reveal your state shape. Now I'm gonna use a stencil brush on the state part of the stencil. I'm using acrylic paint in aqua. The trick to getting a crisp line is to use a dabbing or stippling technique with very little paint on the brush. Wipe any excess paint on the paper towel or paper plate. I'd rather apply two coats than have excess paint bleed under the stencil. Let the paint dry just a bit and then remove your stencil from the board. Grab the stencil by both top corners and carefully pull off the surface. Now apply the stencil back onto the waxy backing by laying the bottom corners down and rolling the stencil back onto the backing like pizza dough. Then store flat for future use. And that's it, a quaint DIY home state sign, perfect for your home or to give as a thoughtful gift. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. I hope you give this project a try using our reusable vinyl stencil. As always, our customer service team is here to help if you have any questions. See you next time.